Okay, so chances are you have found this video because you are looking for a roofer in your local area. Now, let me give a quick word of warning. I was recently scammed uh, by a roofer out of $8,000. They never, they did the job, supposedly, uh, but it was a horrible job. And quite frankly, I had to hire another company to come back in. And now there's litigation against the company that uh, I originally hired. So I wanted to make this video to protect you uh, from the same misfortune that I've had to, to, to run into. Uh, so, first of all, here's an article that you're seeing on the screen, um, and it just kind of goes over a few things that you need to know. One, make sure your roofer has proper insurance coverages and bonding, just because they're the least expensive. Uh, heck, I'll even say that those that are least the least expensive are not the ones that you want to use. Uh, they're just out hustling for a job, uh, like the guy that I hired. And, you know, they get suckers like me that don't want to pay a whole lot of money and uh, insurance wasn't covering it, so it was out of pocket. So if you're going to go either route, you know, either, you know, through, you know, if the insurance is paying it or you're paying it, just make sure that they have proper insurance. If they, somebody falls off your roof uh, and they, they're not insured, guess who is? The homeowner, you. So uh, be safe out there. Next. Make sure your roofing contractor has a valid contractor's license uh, for your city. Uh, this one, again, I didn't check. Uh, he did have a valid license, uh, but if I would have done a little more research, I would have realized that the guy had a, a, you know, several uh, bad reports on the BBB. So, you know, check the, the Better Business Bureau. Make sure that they have a contractor's license and make sure that they're insured. Um, next. Make sure your roofing contractor offers workmanship warranties. Uh, not manufacturer warranties, but workmanship warranties. My guy did not, um, and I pay, I'm paying the price for it. So that's a big one right there, too. Uh, and ask about their installation procedures. I've never even thought about this one, but make sure that they use proper techniques to ensure the longest life possible for your roofing system. Make them explain it to you. I cannot reiterate that enough. Make them explain it to you. And if you don't understand something, ask questions. You're paying these guys a lot of money to do a job. They have crews trained to do that job. Uh, if they want your business, they'll take the time uh, to, to answer your questions. And then lastly, and this is the one uh, that really stuck out to me, make, make sure that they have an ironclad guarantee. Get it in writing. Uh, make sure that whatever that guarantee is, it's in your best interest and not theirs. Uh, and there's there's no stupid loopholes in it. Uh, again, that is that's a big one. My guy did not, and again, I am paying the price. Uh, so you may be asking, who do I now recommend? Well, I don't recommend anyone in particular now. Uh, you know, I, I have found a company that that's replacing my own. I like them. I am using a referral service, and that's what I'm going to recommend that you do too. Uh, there's a phone number either above or below this video. You know, call it. It's a referral service. It's who I used. Again, this is a more or less a public service announcement to, to save you uh, from the hassle that I had to deal with with finding a, a roofing contractor. So again, use the same referral service that I used. Uh, call the number above or below this video and uh, have a great day and be safe out there.